it. If you want to catch the digital bundle, there it is. We totally, everything is going to the charity, the Children of the Future Foundation, which we are going to share more about. Next up, we're just going to get right into our next speaker, if we can. Um, and we're going to share screen. So Julie Quigley is um, a wealth coach. So again, this is the first one. So I think maybe we could bring Julie on instead of me just talking yes. so I could so, speak to Julie yes. and share a little bit. So um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to, hey, Julie, good to see you. Uh, we've worked with Julie a little bit in the past. I don't, I, I was so excited to hear that what she does. I didn't know what she does just because we speak to people a lot of times. Not always do we know, right? We, we get into scenarios and situations. So I was super excited when Yasmil Day, when we were putting this together, had shared that Julie is a wealth coach and not just a wealth coach. She's a Grant Cardone 10X um, and, a, and a private investor and all kinds of stuff. If you don't know who Grant is, that's okay. Julie can touch a little bit on that. But truly what we invited Julie here to do is to talk around our personal finances. They have emotional charge on so many levels because they cover so many levels of our lives. So that's where we really were like, oh, I want to get into the juice and have someone that can help us walk through that and give us a different perspective. So Julie is here to talk to us about empowering beyond the numbers, right? So Julie, I wish you well, because yeah. before Julie talks about that, I really wanted um, her to tell us uh, how did she resonate with this? Like what made her uh, decide to say yes and come to talk to you about emotional um, confusion and how to create joy. So, Julie. Well, hello, you guys. Um, hello, everybody out there. Um, really, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I think being a young entrepreneur uh, 20 some years ago, I felt alone. And with this help, this probably would have made it, it was a game changer. It would have been a game changer for me that long ago. So, you know, you feel like everything's, I mean, I'm analytical and I feel like everything's about, you know, everything has to have an answer. Everything's about numbers, but it's really, you know, if your emotions being attached to it, it was, it was such a game changer for me to want to help people here. Amazing. We're so, so glad you said yes. Yes. So thank you for so. So I'm going to kick ourselves out of okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you the whole screen. <laughs> Can I share my screen then now? Yes, uh, yes go ahead. Okay. All right, hopefully everybody can hear me okay. And I know my slide is probably got blocked by uh, faces over there. So um, a little bit about me is, I mean, you can read, but um, I'm an entrepreneur by heart, um, was born in an entrepreneurial family, farming family, south of Chicago, Illinois. And I was kind of forced out of um, what I wanted to do for a living. Um, I really wanted to be something with, health and wellness and owning my own business. But to get a degree in that, I had to go to college for a physical education degree and I've had mobility issues since I was born. So I can't walk too well. So I wasn't able to complete any of my classes that needed to be completed. So kind of uh, bombed, uh, kind of forced out of my career that way. So I became an accountant. So, um, you know, the traditional go work for somebody and it really just did not do it for me. Um, I, my mom asked me if I wanted to start a business with her when I was 24 and pregnant. I said, well, sure, that's flexible. I could make a bunch of money and be able to be at home. And that just, you know, that was the start of my emotional journey because it just didn't end up that way. You know, um, my mom got breast cancer and my daughter was two years old and didn't sleep till she was four years old. And so, you know, the business suffered. So not only was my mother, my, my babysitter, but my business partner and, and my mom. So it really took an emotional turn where I kind of had to shut things off to, to run my business. And, you know, eventually that business didn't make it because uh, we didn't have a good plan and, and we weren't um, stable enough that way. I wasn't stable enough to like, I'm trying to help you guys here is, you know, my support at home was limited. I uh, didn't have, um, I didn't start my time with timer, darn it. Oh, well. Um, my support was limited. Um, my husband didn't understand the business. He, you know, worked for a living. So he worked an hourly, had an hourly wage and didn't understand how I wanted to help people. So I uh, kept going, kept going, kept going, had another baby in the meantime, but eventually burnout happened. 
and I pretty much was in survival mode for 15 years. So when I started changing my mindset and learning new skills, I was just investing deeply in myself. And, you know, my family didn't understand that because, you know, why, why are you going to these seminars? Why are you wasting time reading all these books when you could just be making money? So I teach people this now because if I wouldn't have wasted those 15 years, I would be so much more ahead. So now I travel, I get to uh, get, go to these Grant Cardone um, events all the time since I'm a licensee with him. Um, it's just, I'm living what I wanted to do, but 20 years later. So um, let's see, what else did I want to tell you about this? I guess that's good. So here's my, my problems here. And I think I probably should have advanced the slide a few minutes ago, but I didn't have money or business plans. But once I got, I, I got an investment license and thinking I can help people with their financial plan that way. And that really wasn't enough. I really needed um, the push and actually Yasmildi and Donna helped me with that as well. Um, I became the authorized Grant Cardone trainer to help people just to get where they need to be, business or personal. So there we go. Um, so what we're talking about today is an empowering, uh, the, the, um, the narrative behind the numbers. And so if somebody asks you what your financial story is, what do you tell them? Does it make you feel like, oh gosh, they're not in your stomach? Do you feel like you've done the best you can though with the tools you've had? Or do you think they'd be impressed with what you've done? Um, depending on where you're at, there's always room for improvement. So our relationship with money is emotional. Hopes, fears, guilt, and shame. They all play a significant role in our financial life. And those feelings can be tied to a lot of things, our upbringing, our environment, plus all the money stuff in the media and all the messages that we get. So it's, there's always such confusion on who we should listen to. So that's what I'm trying to um, tell you guys today is it, it can be simple. It just needs to, to have you know some structure behind it. So there's this, this quote that I love and it's college graduates spend 16 years gaining skills that will help them command a higher salary Yet little or no time is spent helping them save, invest, and grow their money. That's by Vince Schwab. He's a National Financial Educators Council, the CEO. And I just love that because um, one of my missions is to help kids uh, with financial literacy. So I love their new foundation idea. Yes, Mildi and Donna, you guys are the best. Um, I can't wait to help out with that as well. Okay, so next we've got, so we got Grant Cardone here, Financial Truths. What you don't talk about, you will have problems with. If you want more money, you must educate your people about money. Money is abundant and without limitation. So I try to teach about um, and discuss about financial intelligence, and it's a fairly new term. Um, but really what it is, it's an understanding and gaining knowledge of skills and of finances. So it has a lot to do with understanding numbers of budgets, financials, um, assets, profits, anything like that. Um, in, the, in the most important relationship or emotions in relation to money is fear, guilt, shame, and envy. Now for me, I was a financial person. So when I was having financial problems and personal financial problems, they thought that I, you know, I thought that if I told somebody I had a problem with it, that, oh gosh, how could you have problems with it? You don't, you teach this for a living. Well, that I was ashamed of it. So I just kept going and going and going. So yeah, shame being one of the most common and powerful emotions associated with money and personal finance. It's the primary reason people avoid doing what they should. It's a natural way to avoid exposure in relation to what something you are ashamed of. So in, for example, the shamed of not having enough money, avoid thinking about financing or talking about it. Avoid doing what you're supposed to do with finances, uh, like creating a safety net, a retirement plan, budgeting, which I have a hard time with the budgeting myself because I feel like it kind of throws in you, into the universe that you don't have anything left. So I try to stay away from a lot of budgeting for that goes to, down to zero. Um, spending way too much money or just buying stuff because it makes people... Um, it makes them happy or they think it makes them happy to buy things when they're unhappy. So when you start a financial journey, um, anxiety usually takes place. Um, so then they could just quit and they, they avoid it altogether. So uh, let's see here. 
a lot of um, another, many effects on financial stress, stress of your health. So insomnia, sleep difficulties, that was my main one a long time ago, weight gain, depression, anxiety, relationship difficulties, especially if you're not on the same page. That's where I was at. I couldn't convince my husband that uh, building a business wasn't um, a full-time job anymore. It was actually more than a full-time job and I was helping people. Social withdrawal, physical ailments. And then, so, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Financial success on a holistic level is more about than just accumulating money and being financially stable. Success for most of us fosters a sense of well-being and peace of mind. Setting goals on the foundation of what is important to you and your family will accomplish this. You know, we had the, the recession go through 2008, 2009. I was embarrassed that we almost lost our house. So it was, it was just a very stressful time. So there are three things that I want to talk to you today. One is how, the first one is how you do you relate with money? And how to boost your financial intelligence is how you relate to money. So did, when you were young, you were taught that money doesn't grow on trees, easy come, easy go, or money is the root of all evil. But successful people control money. They don't let the money control them. So what you're relationship with money needs to be expanded and not limited to what you have learned when you were young. Okay, so what do you do with your money? So that's number two. Usually the more we make, the more we spend. And this is the reason that we need financial intelligence. And that's why some athletes and uh, entertainers go broke after they, they get all this money, they don't know how to how to manage it and what to do with it. So does spending bring you happiness? As research shows, spending money on material goods doesn't bring long lasting satisfaction. There, is, there are ways though that you can help um, make you happier by spending. So spending money on charities or on others, um, buying experiences instead of things because it increases your well being and the well-being of others you share it with, you're actually creating memories. Uh, spend it with intentionality uh, to make your life easier. You could spend money to make your life easier or support a cause that you have passion for, help you to build wealth for the future. Uh, spending money determines on what you care, what you spend money on determines on what you care most about. And money is power and freedom and make somebody else's dreams come true or if it makes you smile. Those are the ways that I um, look at spending money. So there's a, number three is how is your cash flow going or do you even know how it is and how is it organized? And I show this because people are like, well, I don't have a business. Well, you do have a business. It's called your life and you need to treat it like a business. So organize it like you have a business and in a computer program like Excel or QuickBooks, I'm QuickBooks queen, so everything's in QuickBooks, um, or just a file folder of just keep everything organized so you know where to look at it, what you uh, spend your attention on, what you, you, the law of attraction will take over. So you have to, money gets bored if you don't, if you would um, ignore it. So, and Grant Cardone says that a lot too. Um, so yes, I always tell people if they don't know where they're at in November and December, about what they're doing for the next um, tax year or whatever. They just, they need to um, have a handle on it. So they know how much they're making and how it's organized. So that next slide is, is what the, one of the classes that I teach. Um, it's just Grant Cardone's 10X Super Life, which it incorporates uh, finances, relationships, um, recreation, income, it, it's a lot of things that goes into this just because we need them all health in there. Um, we need everything to, to create your own super life, not just your income at all. So finance wealth is a lot more than just finances. So I think I'm doing pretty good on time here. Um, Wait, yes, um, I, this is my uh, contribution to the bundle. I'm going to give six weeks of coaching to the super life class. And it is uh, 10x all the aspects of your business and life with financial intelligence. So it goes through a lot of different things 
to make sure that you are, are set up that way. Um, all you have to do is go to www.juliequigley.com backslash super life. There's probably a link in the whole bundle. Um, and that is going to give you three um, different bonuses and uh, a downloadable workbook and then 10 success principles of wealth. Um, but the presentation itself is actually to develop ways to create a super extraordinary life for themselves by eliminating thinking that traps them and replaces them with new information. So that, and then the, I was, I put in here that the, uh, per, the first 10 people to uh, buy this, buy the bundle, then they will get a well, one hour, one-to-one -one with me to see how we can customize your results and your solutions. So that's really all I have. Um, I, I'll wait for questions later. And I thank you guys for your attention. I <laughs> We're learning how to stop screen, green screen, screen, screen. Yes. Julie, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. I think the first thing I want to say is thank you for the vulnerability. I mean, there's 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 something in all of this for everybody that's watching and will come across this. The speakers that we brought here, we really did ask them share. We are individuals and humans just like everyone's watching and i think you know we're speaking about finances absolutely when we forget that other people out there are going through the same things and we don't talk about them right you say it in finances that goes across everything we don't know where the help lies we don't know where where to go where to take ourselves and i think the funny thing too becomes you know what, if it's not someone in your circle, that's the brilliance of being so connected right now in the world, there's access to this. I mean, we're certainly so appreciative that we've been able to bring on and, and you're gonna see over the course of the two days, 14 different perspectives reach out to these individuals that, that truly have lived these things that they're sharing and, and truly can then teach and guide and help and just let you discover what's possible because as you know, they had shared, we need to see beyond. We need to know where we're going. So who's ready to super like yeah. the 10X and all that and truly just get into it. it. doesn't matter where you are. You need to start somewhere. I think that's the bigger thing. Yes. We want to jump so far to uh, the super life instead of it's super now, let's get to next super and move these levels up. So these things are all about starting at whatever level you're at and working your way. So what did and you talk about? No, and, and having the, the chance to um, to get this one hour um, yes. session, like coaching with with um, you, Julie, I think that's, that's extremely, um, you know, useful, uh, valuable, because then you will have that personalized um opinion like that intervention right in a safe space um where you can you know overcome the embarrassment and talk with a person that can lead you through a specific steps and something very um tailored to your circumstances and your personality and your and your intentions uh, exactly. uh, right so she so generously said that the first 10 people to buy the bundle, and yes, when you buy it, what you get at the end of the two days, so tomorrow, you could get from us this link to a page that is going to have the links to absolutely every speaker, uh, including the one that um, Julie mentioned. And you will get access to those um, six weeks. That's that's what you, you said, yeah. Julie, right? Yeah, you'll be able to um, the you. six weeks to the ten x your life um, thing. Like talk about the wisdom of Grand Cardone, yeah. huge yeah. in the investment world, and um, you know, as a, a super. Um, charged guy you know it's funny i think when we hear the word investment as well a lot of times it comes up i don't have the money i don't right instead of first of all you're investing in yourself to do this and and yes. you know we're not here to talk about our stories in full but we've lived these things and that's why we bring this on we're we're not 
there's never perfect, first of all, we're always aiming for more. So I think that's just something to, to be so um, conscientious of, so aware of, and just understand where you're at and that there's always more. So um, yes, like as they shared, you drop, get the bundle, you're going to get all this stuff sent to you and then how to actually access all of this. So it's not actually just a link, you'll get it all and we'll help yes. you walk through things. So Julie, thank you again. And again, she'll be here after for the Q and A. If you've got questions that are coming up during it, go ahead and like as they shared when we can bring someone together that has had experiences so wherever you are on the spectrum there's a lady who has lived it and is helping other people live into that and move into that super life so thank you julie yeah <laughs> okay then, i don't know what i knew what um mm -hmm. i'm feeling like um we should we're share that video. video okay we're gonna jump right into we're gonna share a, um a little bit more about the foundation so that you understand what we keep saying what is the foundation? What are they really doing? Who are these women? What's going on? Um, we're going to share a short video. It's only two minutes. So uh, sit back and uh, yes. we'll share that. And then what we'll do is we'll just allow you to hear that. And then we'll just jump into the next one, uh, the next speaker. Okay. So sit back and we hope that the, the volume runs through. It should. Are you watching? Are you seeing it? Yeah. Children of the Future Foundation is meant to create the platform for bringing together practitioners, children, and parents to address the difficulties our children are having that are falling through the cracks of our current systems. It's a space where we can work together to accommodate the diverse identities, interests, voices, and take ownership of the beauty of childhood. A space where parents, grandparents, and caregivers become educated in what it all entails and feel comfortable connecting with their own inner child. We are deeply concerned about our children. Children's symptoms of anxiety and depression are escalating, reflected in physical symptoms. Most physical symptoms cannot be diagnosed and addressed by conventional medicine. I've seen chronic digestive issues, pain, phobias, sleep disorders, irritability, and hyperactivity in my clients' children that have left our MDs baffled. Medicating our children is becoming trivial and a go-to and expected practice without anyone fully understanding yet the long-term effects this could have. We are deeming the light inside our children by creating systems that limit, judge, criticize, and label their uniqueness, all in the efforts of making them conform to a standard proverbial box for our own convenience. Children of the Future Foundation wants to break that box open. We want to encourage our children's confidence, self-love, and empowerment offering alternative explanations and solutions. And we want to do it by facilitating access to the power of all modalities of energy healing that um, are so good for creating physical, mental, and emotional health. So what do you say? Will you join us? And I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you do. And that's a little snippet of what's in store and what the foundation is about. Um, again, we'll get into it more and share things, but it truly is a space in our hearts. And, and we speak about energy and energy healing. And you will find with everyone that's, that's um, here today, it's all energy. And they're bringing forth where they are and, and what they're moving through or have moved through and how they can help others do that. So 